And now Backtracks, a look back at Chicago's colorful public transit history. The year, 1893. It's Chicago Day at the World's Columbian Exposition in Jackson Park. Hundreds of thousands of visitors travel to the event by any means possible. Passengers scramble for a ride on top of this streetcar train near Wentworth and 61st Street. The year, 1935. For many years, Chicago's largest shopping district outside of the Loop was 63rd Street in Halsted in Englewood. A Pullman-built streetcar filled with holiday shoppers stops southbound on its way to 79th Street. The trip likely began at Broadway, with a streetcar making its way to Halsted, then Clark and Archer, and back to Halsted. The year 1938. Construction begins on the state and Dearborn subways as part of a WPA Works Progress Administration project. The soil is fluid, so the tubes in the loop are mined with huge cylindrical devices called shields. Besides the shields, heavy rings of steel and compressed air are used to support the clay walls of the tube. The year 1946. Chicago's first articulated bus is a demonstrator built by Twin Coach. In 1948, it is converted to a trolley coach with seats for 58 passengers. It is dubbed the Queen Mary, and it's almost as difficult to maneuver as its namesake because the rear wheels have no turning capacity of their own. That's it for this edition of Backtracks. Now, let's get back to the present.